Well, hey there, YouTube. Welcome on in. Hey, how you doing? I've, I've been doing some... Alright, <laughs> that's enough. I've been doing some videos going over old builds that I haven't used in a while. And um, it's been a lot of fun. But I've got a, a, a couple of builds that like I'm just not going to change anything about because they're perfect and I use them all the time anyway. And uh, this video will feature some of those. This first invasion is not one of those. This is just an invasion that I forgot to put in my Black Flame guy video and then i was like oh you know what this invasion is too good this it, it should really sort of just kind of be its own thing um because of just the absolute nature of how outplayed everyone is uh in the presence of one saint riot so everything's dead these guys are just hanging out in the level um dead level punchy poise uh sword dance scythe and whatever else you know, um, this is this is fish in a barrel for gankers. Uh, Nagi not a shield guy is the other one. This is this is fish in a barrel for these types of players. Um, unfortunately for them, though, uh, I am a I'm one of those flying piranhas from Super Mario Brothers. I am goddamn Jaws. Uh, you know, like there's just your you're, this is, oh man, absolutely bullying. Just the moment you get away from them and they they don't have that 3v1 advantage, just everything falls apart for these types of players. And we love that, don't we? Just beautiful. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm the best. I'm the best. Don't forget it. I love, I love invasions like that, where the good guys win. Alright, so anyway, this video is going to be featuring Pyromancy Guy. This is um, the Sentinel of Ruin. This is level 80 faith build that uses Pyromancy's, uh, the Giant's Flame stuff. And I am a huge uh, fan of Burn O Flame, um, and have been since, you know, Dark Souls 1, when it was called Fire Tempest. I love that thing. Flaming Strike on a straight sword is not exactly as mean as Flaming Strike can be, but it's really, really good, and thematically it fits with this build. I'm really glad the host right there displayed just a little bit of uh, self-preservation. A lot of times you find these hosts and they just have no self-preservation at all, and you end up uh, beating them before something cool can happen. And uh, I just... I can't abide by that. I need something cool to happen in the invasion. You know, that's just, it's who I am. It's what I do. If not something cool, at least something funny. Like blowing people up with Giant's Flame Take Thee. What a fun spell this is. Absolutely uh, just a, an atomic bomb. And you can just throw it around. You know, I love that. And then Catch Flame is obviously like one of the meanest uh, spells in the game, I think. Uh, it like gets up there with Carry and Slicer in regards to just an absolutely brutal, uh, low FP, high efficiency spell um, that you can just use to chase people and you know get that last hit on them uh, a lot of the time. And I, I love that Elden Ring lets us have that and lets us have it for like, what is it, like 12 faith or something silly. Like, it's nothing. It costs nothing for that. And that rules. Um, as a reminder, uh, this footage was taken uh, 1.08, patch 1.08. So there's been a patch since this footage was recorded. Um, I think, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this footage might actually be after 1.09. Um, I'm not sure though, so. Uh, I won't, I won't say for sure one way or the other, but uh, it's possible that it's 1.08. Um, look at that, just <laughs> absolutely wandered around. My girl got strolled on. My girl got dawdled to death. Just absolutely gallivanted. The most meandering backstab you've ever seen in your entire life. Love it. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Pyromancy, uh, 
like magic or whatever incantations in this game um, in regards to burn o flame is that it's so so good at uh, like being a wake up like if you backstab someone as they're getting up you cast burn o flame like immediately you can't you can't do the charged up version but you can just like cast it you know um, it's so good but here lately I've just kind of gotten into the habit of just casting it because why not you know just try it out just try it out and see look at the absolute blender here once again we have two dudes just standing somewhere no enemies just ganking with their little you know uh, this is what I see people use you know and um, you know it's good it's good stuff they'll win they'll win a lot but not if I have anything to say about it uh, another spell that I haven't gone over yet is O Flame. I love O Flame. I love it so much. Uh, it is absolutely capable of comboing into everything. Just O Flame itself can combo into a straight sword uh, light attack. Um, and fully charged O Flame can combo into, uh, you know, uh, pretty much anything. Ashes of War, whatever. So check this dude. Uh, I, I talked about this the other day in a video. Like, you can parry Giant Hunt. You can parry Flaming Strike. You can parry Sword Dance. Um, and a lot of these things are easy to parry. Uh, you know, you'll see people running unparryable weapons like Colossal Swords or whatever. You can still parry it. You can still parry it. Because it's the Ash of War itself that is parryable. Not, it has, you know, it's, it doesn't take on the weapon's unparryable properties or whatever. So, just something to remember. Um, I don't think you can parry Spinning Slash, though, uh, which, uh, you know, you couldn't parry that in Dark Souls 3, um, so, yeah. But Sword Dance, Flaming Strike, Giant Hunt, all these things, just the Moonlight Laser Beams, you can parry that. You can parry the Moon Beams, you can parry the sword itself, and you can get uh, the Repost. Um, you know, this man just absolutely r 2 upon to death. He just keeps falling for it. He just won't stop, and that's fine with me. You know, I'll I'll accept it. Just outspaced R2. I'm not outspaced R2. R2, as in you are you are two. Boom, fully charged. Double slash, true combo. We call that red boiling. We call that red boiling springs. I used to work with a guy, and he was from a place in Tennessee called Red Boiling Springs, and that's how he said it. Red Boiling. And if if Katana Double Slash after Blood Flame Talon is Honest Rivers, then that's Red Boiling. Yeah. Here's more. Two guys just love to stand somewhere. Two guys just love to be standing in a place. You know? That's their favorite thing to do, is just be two guys. Just outstanding in a field like a scarecrow that's a joke uh <laughs> i'm an idiot um yeah I, I just love these invasions when you can like win these invasions like when you when you get the 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 win against these people who have everything you know what i mean like it just feels so good and and these types of invasions deserve to be shown off uh maybe you don't learn anything useful from that particular invasion like you did the other ones hopefully but and it's frog the return of frog my frog build uh, I was talking about how much I love the carrion knight magic and uh, boom straight sword r1 true combo boom love it and if they challenge the gavel they absolutely get crushed and then the piercer to wake up is just absolute devastation that's not one of those things you'll you'll land a lot but uh, when you do land it, you are the magic god. So these two, um, having a good time. They are taunters tonguing through the shaded castle. And um, just having a, a, a good, you know, taunters tongue run. And, you know, so it's easy to get mad at taunters tongue duos like this when they're using, like, you know... The, the most, um, you know, YouTube-ass builds or whatever that you've seen. It's easy to get mad at players like this, but it's important to remember that, like... And, and these guys aren't doing that, by the way. Uh, you know, the lance is really good, but there's nothing wrong with using the lance or whatever. Um, but, uh, 
yeah, like, these people have the Taunter's Tongue active, which means I could have a second invader whenever one shows up. Um, and, and you know, it, it's there's a certain element of sportsmanship uh, in people who will just leave the Taunter's Tongue active. And they choose not to turn it off, which that's an option that they have. I hate it. I hate that that's an option that they have. But they have it. And um, these, these folks right here don't use it. They just don't use that. And so... You know, now these people, like I said, just honest, doing nothing wrong, they're fine. But, you know, sometimes you'll come across Taunter Tongue duos that are a bit more annoying, but if they're leaving the tongue on and letting you have a second invader, there's there's a little bit of sportsmanship in that, so you can't get too mad at it. But, uh, yeah, the, the, I, I saw they, you know, I was watching someone else stream, and they invaded these people, and then I came here to invade, and I invaded them, then I invaded them again, and I was like, oh, they're doing like a, they're, they're like doing a run, so that's cool, they're like taking turns, one's the host, and then the other's the host, uh, and yeah, they, they've got some fun builds, uh, they're not playing like in annoying ways, they're actively trying to like make progress through the level, um, which means that allows me to do fun stuff, I can play fun in return, and not just play like you know, the most annoying, well, I view it as annoying, you know, I don't like to play, like, super passive, wait and see what you do, I only ever react, you know, I like to be super aggressive, um, but I also am extremely petty, and so I will just straight up play super passive and only play, uh, you know, I'll only do, um, I'm like a bad YouTube channel, I'm just doing reactions, you know, uh, if if you're gonna make me play that way, then that's how I'll that's how I'll play because I can do that. It's you know, um, that's something that I think other invaders could st uh, you know stand to learn. Um, I know it's not everybody has the time, the patience, or the inclination, but I feel like you know if you have it, you should use it to to show these types of players that like you know like I'll do it. You know, don't think I won't. But uh, once again, I'm talking about people who aren't in this video. Uh, these people are, ra are great. They rule. And look at our co-invader. Would you look who it is? Unfortunately for them, it's dang it JM has shown up to uh, to help. So I was watching JM stream, and uh, he had invaded these people, and. Then I invaded them, and I was like, hey, they're still there. They're doing, like, a Tauntra's Tongue thing. And so JM came back, and we had some good invasions. It's always fun to invade with your buddies. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's one of those things a lot of people want to be able to do more reliably. Um, but I definitely understand why it's not an option. I feel like two decent invaders would pretty much wipe the floor with 99% of every honest co oper You know what I'm saying? Like, just decent invaders. Two decent invaders versus, like, 99% of every just regular person, they're gonna get, they're gonna get smoked. Um, now, if you choose to do this, if you choose to put this on yourself, you know, uh, this is a great way to get better, um, is fighting the people who are good at doing this uh, but there's something to be said about like I just if you're wanting to do PvP I think that you know you should do some duels and then after you do some duels um, do invasions because that's that's where the getting good gets um, you know if you're co-op and you don't have friendly fire if you're invading and you're invading with other people you've got to be on the lookout Trying not to hit your homie um, is a big deal, and uh, it's something that I myself uh, have mastered. Did you see how beautiful that gavel of Hyma was? Or, I'm sorry, the cannon, whatever it was. It didn't hit JM at all, you know. And watch this, watch this. Boom, JM safe as a baby. And then, oh, see now that one, that's JM's fault. You you saw it right there, right? You you saw that. That was JM. JM just ran into it to try and make me look bad. I should just I should just let JM go in there and 
you know, meet his own fate. But I'm 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 too I'm too good. I'm too good. I can't I can't resist even when I know I should. I don't. You know, I'm just playing. I'm just giving JM a hard time. This was a blast. Uh, this is a ton of fun. Good game, everybody. And and GGs to dang it, JM. I I absolutely just love invasions in this game so much. You know, I just love it. And it's especially great when you uh, when you get that second invader. Hell yeah! Thanks for watching. See you next time. Later, y'all.